Hey, what's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to build this KiwiRail New Zealand DXR class. Now this is a rebuilt subclass of the DX class, and as you can see, it is a narrow gauge engine. It's been a while since we built one of these narrow gauge, and uh, here is what it looks like. So it's actually my second KiwiRail train, and it's actually commissioned by MCCDD101, so thanks to him for making this video possible. And let's get started on this build. Alright, so let's grab our materials. Yellow terracotta, yellow concrete, uh, oak stairs, dark oak slab, dark oak uh, trap door, dark oak fence gate, oak slab, oak stairs, and black concrete. And let's say uh, another brick stairs. So first off, we're gonna go right over here, and we're gonna add in uh, four blocks wide of this oak stairs like this. Then we're gonna make four blocks wide of this yellow terracotta, and the middle will have two back to back or facing each other uh, oak stairs with oak slab to the side of it and a row of four oak slabs behind it. Then sides will add in two upside down nether brick stairs, both sides. And then the middle will add in a dark oak slab onto one side. This is gonna be our false middle. And we'll add in dark oak fence gates on either side of it, open them up. Dark oak slab underneath the coupling, right there. All right, so now we're gonna add in this bogey design. So we'll go down here first and add in a pair of dark oak uh, fence gates like this. Then we'll take out um, gray terracotta, dark oak uh, stairs, and a hopper. And we're gonna make three of these wheels. So just skip a block, add in a pair of this gray terracotta with dark oak stairs upside down in the front of it. So this is one wheel and basically we want three pairs of wheels. Like so. Then we're going to add in hoppers to the sides of the wheels. Other side, same thing. And then we'll add in a nether brick slab in between the hoppers. And one of them in front of the stairs. So technically it's in front of all the stairs. Then we'll add in another brick slab right above each of the hoppers. And then we'll add in a daylight detector in between uh, these slabs like this. And a block over here as well. Make them all blue, because blue looks cooler than yellow, I think. But if you think yellow looks better, you can leave it the way it is. Anyways, next we'll add in uh, this black concrete on the inside of this, going from the front all the way to the back of this wheel like that. Then we're gonna go in the front, add in uh, another brick stairs with a dark oak trapdoor underneath it. Other side, same thing. Another brick stairs, dark oak trapdoor underneath it. And then we'll go to this um, middle wheel and we'll replace the slab with the stairs. Then we'll go to the back of this, add in a pair of nether brick walls, and then a dark oak fence gate, open that up towards the hopper, and we'll add in a dark oak trapdoor above it. Then we'll add in these dark oak signs, uh, three of them, and they are gonna be spaced apart like this. It's going to be closest to the middle of the locomotive. So we have three. these three like so. Alright, so very good. Now we're going to add in the fuel tank. So we'll take out black concrete. And we are going to make it, let's say, five blocks long. So make it two blocks wide. One, two, three, four, five. Extend the rest across. And we'll extend the top part all the way across as well. And then we'll add in upside down nether brick stairs, side of it. Other side, we'll do the same thing. 
All right, so then we're gonna go back in the front, add a little more detail, put end rods, two block stall here, iron trap door, and then two uh, oak fences in the middle. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, adding in these end rods. And they should be up onto this layer here and iron trap door right there. And then we're gonna go to the front Add in a stone button right here. All right, so now we're gonna copy all that we did in the front from the knuckle here, all the way to where we have this trap door. We we'll copy all of that and build it on the other side. So you want to make sure the middle, the center, is gonna be the same. So it's going to be kind of a reflection. All right, so once we built the other side, it looks like this. Then we'll delete these stairs and replace them with oak uh, fences like that. And delete these two slabs behind it. And we'll add in yellow concrete two blocks wide and four blocks tall. Like so. And then at the bottom, we'll add in a two by two of bedrock. That's two blocks tall, so it's like a giant cube like that. Uh, then we'll add in um, We'll take out a smooth quartz slab, oak slab, nether brick slab, and we'll go over here, add in an oak slab, and then smooth quartz. So oak slab and then smooth quartz. Other side, same thing, oak slab, smooth quartz. And then we'll add in a smooth quartz right above this trap door, both sides. And then two oak slabs and then nether brick slab. Two oak slabs, nether brick slab. And then we'll add in three oak slabs, smooth quartz slab. Do the same thing on the other side. And then three oak slabs, both sides. And then we'll connect the middle part together using oak slabs. So this is gonna be the walkways, I guess. And now we're gonna go here, add in Sort of like an end shape with the yellow concrete. And the middle will add in yellow inside. We have a smooth quartz slab at the outside. The other side will do the same thing. And then uh, we'll go in the front here. Add it in two by two yellow concrete like that. All right, and then we'll take out um, oak trap door. And we'll open them up right here at the back of the cab. And we'll also put that in the middle. Open them up. And also on the outer edge, open them up. And then we'll add on the side of this a black stained glass block like that. On the outer edges. In the middle, we'll add in a 2x2 two two of black concrete. Then on top, we'll add in yellow concrete. Make it 2x3. And then we'll add in oak stairs three blocks wide on the sides. Same thing on the other side. And the front will add in an oak slab here. And then the front of that will add in a birch uh, fence gate, open that up. And dark oak bunt right next to it. And in the bottom row below that, uh, there's gonna be uh, dark oak fence gates like this, open them up. front. So these are going to be the windshield wipers, and down below we'll add in a row of four yellow glass panes. Like so. Alright, then we'll go to the side of this, um, the pane, and add in an end rod like that. Other side, same thing. And we'll go back over here, add in end rods, two blocks tall. Skip a block, add another pair. And go to the back, skip a block here and add another pair in the back. And the other side, that should be identical, pretty much what we did on the other side, just this side. And right over here, above these signs. Alright, that's great, and now we can add in um, this main hole. So, the hole for this is actually asymmetrical, so this side is kind of like a flipped color. So as you can see in the front, it's gray, while this side's red and yellow. 
Um, so I guess we'll do this side first. So take out Sayan Terracotta, Smooth Quartz, Nether Brick Block, Red Concrete, uh, Smooth Quartz Stairs, and a Bedrock Block. So we'll start behind the cat, also yellow concrete. So we'll start behind the cat, three blocks tall of this yellow concrete. And then smooth court stairs. And then three blocks long smooth court stairs. And then above that two. Then below we'll add one yellow. And we'll go right to the back and we'll add in a V shape of smooth quartz. And then uh, another brick uh, block diagonally from it. Then we'll add in uh, Saiyan Terracotta right after it. And then Smooth Quartz. And then Saiyan Terracotta on top and below it. And top part's going to be two blocks tall. And then we'll go to the back, add in two blocks tall, yellow concrete here. And then we can fill in the rest of this with Saiyan Terracotta all the way up to that Saiyan Terracotta line that we just made here then we'll add in a row across the bottom of red concrete and then red concrete here all the way to the top part and then go back here add in two bedrocks red concrete all the way across then make an L shape of smooth quartz another smooth quartz diagonally skip a block two blocks tall smooth quartz and fill in the rest with red. Alright. And then we'll add in... I guess the other side. So for this side... We'll add in L-shape of yellow here. Smooth quartz stairs. And then diagonally down. 2x2 um, two two smooth quartz stairs. Um, another brick block here. And then we'll add two yellow concretes down here. And then we'll add uh, red concrete here. Two blocks tall, smooth quartz. Red concrete. And then smooth quartz. And then make a L shape of smooth quartz here. And then a line, a column of red concrete. Goes all the way up and we're going to fill in all the back area. Red concrete. All the way across. Then we'll go over here, add in smooth quartz, and then say terracotta, and then smooth quartz, two of them diagonally, and then another two diagonally. Then above we'll add in bedrock, and then skip a block bedrock, and the rest is going to be smooth. I mean, uh, say terracotta all the way across. All right. As for the roof area, let's go from the back. We'll add in two gray uh, carpets and then a two by three of black carpet. And then the rest of the roof is just going to be gray carpet. All the way to the front. Till we go just before this lamp. All right, then we'll add in a dark oak sign. Um, and dark oak fence gate. So over here we'll add in two blocks, long dark oak signs, then two end rods, and then four dark oak fence gates. Open them all up, and then three end rods. One, two, three dark oak sign, and then end rods all the way to the back. While on the other side, we'll add in two. Dark oak signs here, the two end rods, and then four dark oak fence gates, and then end rods all the way to the back. All right. Then we'll add in um, acacia button and stone button, as well as dark oak buttons. So over here, we can add in acacia buttons in front of this R. I mean, not an R. I guess it's an R since it is rail. Um, and then stone buttons right over here. And then the other side. We'll add in two dark oak buttons here. Um, stone button here. 
and then fill in this R in with acacia buttons, like so. Now for the bottom area, we can add in upside down nether brick stairs, so it's two blocks, that, and then nether brick slabs all the way across. The other side, we'll add in nether brick slabs on the edges, and then um, nether brick stairs, that, and then another one, and then another one. So it should look like this. Then we're to go to the back, add a birch fence gate up here, open it up, add in a polished blackstone button underneath it, and then dark oak button here, and then acacia button underneath this. Then we'll go to the sides of the cab, and we'll add in the row number, so that's going to be two dark oak buttons right here, other side another two. All right, so now we're gonna add in the door banner, which looks like this. Just take a black banner with yellow dye, put it inside our loom. And I'm gonna make this go have a border around it, put that back in. And I'm gonna make it go across the bottom half of it. And we'll put this at the back of this and just crouch to place it down like that. All right, so yeah, that's about it on how to build the Kiwi Rail New Zealand class DXR in Minecraft. Thanks again to MCCDD for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If you guys do enjoy this video, remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.